Scientists from NTU develop a test kit for malaria that delivers results in 30 minutes. For a closer look, we're joined now by the lead of this project. He's Associate Professor Liu Chuan. He's from the School of Chemical and Biomedical Engineering at NTU. Good evening, Professor. How accurate is your test compared with current diagnosis methods? Well, uh, since our test kits have not been clinically tested so far, uh, so in this case, we, it's really difficult to tell how accurate our, our test kit is compared to other methods. However, so currently we're trying to improve the sensitivity of the method. So we're trying to do that such that it can outperform other similar kits. Professor Liu, we understand it can determine severity of the infection as well. Tell us why that's important. Well, the severity of infection uh, for a malaria patient uh, is strongly correlated to the degree of illness. So you can imagine that then in this case, it can affect the treatment plan of the patients. A patient uh, with more severe infection will justify the use of more, exp more expensive anti-malaria drug. All right, so that actually comes uh, into uh, the play of treatment plan. Right? That's why it's so important. Uh, Professor Lu Chuan, you mentioned there that other test kits have, of course, been uh, developed elsewhere for malaria, but this one does away with the need for complex lab equipment. Can it work in the field with, with less than ideal sanitary conditions? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, that's a yeah, very good question. Um, so it's so important uh, to do it in a low resource region. I think our test kit uh, has some certain advantages to be used in such a, a low resource region. So first of all, our chip contains all dry chemicals. So it's easy for transportation and for any long-term storage. And second, it requires a tiny amount of water. So each test only requires about 10 microliter water. So now I dro eye drop model, can actually hold uh, around a 10 milliliter water. So water in an eye drop bottle can easily be used for around 100 times of tests. So I think uh, our test can possibly, yeah, can very likely can do it. And Professor, what's your next step? What specific areas are you looking to improve? Well, first, we want to further improve the, the sensitivity of the kit by a few more times, since there are so many factors that are not optimized yet. And after that, we'll develop a cost-effective uh, chip reader, such that it can be used in the field, and this reader should be reusable. And after that, uh, or at the meantime, uh, we will have we will want to work with uh, malaria clinicians in the related countries such that they can provide us the feedback on what we need to pay attention when we manufacture those things. And we will also work with industrial partner uh, to, uh, to uh, check all the manufacturing issues. Let's talk about timelines, uh, Professor Li Chuan. When will this be ready for the market? How much more refinement does it need? And where would you anticipate uh, that you will deploy it first? Well, you know, we're looking to uh, you know, improve the sensitivity and uh, develop a cost-effective reader. So it will take um, maybe another couple of years. So I would imagine it potentially could be deployed in the field for the next, uh, in the next few years. And then um, we would expect to develop, uh, to deploy this in Southeast East country, um, a South Asian country first, such like Thailand or Myanmar. And after that, we'll move to Africa. So that's where the malaria is most prevalent. Professor Lu Chuan, we wish you all the best with the continued development of this important uh, test kit that you've uh, created for malaria. We've been speaking there to Associate Professor Lu Chuan from the School of Chemical and Biomedical Engineering at NTU here in Singapore.